morning. This is a pretty quick video about uh, failure of a YC-482E electronic sewing machine pedal. Uh, this is something I got from a Goodwill. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. Um, I didn't know that it was electronic. I purchased it to operate this motor with a this is a sewing machine motor with a uh, drill chuck on it. I needed something to control the speed. I had a an old older style rheostat sewing machine motor, but it seemed to it was not very well didn't work very well. When I got this, I found that it didn't work after uh, the first thing I did actually was I checked the uh, triac on this because this is a AC speed controller. You could technically call it a dimmer switch, and they all have a triac in them. And I found that the triac no longer identified as a triac, depending on how I put it in my component tester. It either saw it as it either identified as a thyristor, or if I turned it around 90, 180 degrees, it def identified itself as an NPN transistor. So I, the original one had a BT136 triac. I put a BT137 in it. I still couldn't get it to to work. That ended up being my fault. I was plugging the connectors into the uh, the plug wrong. This is the, the style plug, and this is where the uh, connectors go. Let's see if we can do this without messing up. You can see that there's a space with no holes, and there's three holes in here. And these are the connections for the motor. The wires don't matter in this which way they go, just as long as they're in these two holes. The circuit does not work without either a motor or a resistive load on it, and uh, it's uh, what it does is it has a spring on this potentiometer, this slide potentiometer, and when you push it, it then comes back. Uh, it doesn't do anything for about half of its travel and then it engages about here. This little dial is for fine-tuning the speed. You can, what, what I did was I moved it until the motor started moving and then I could use this to control how fast the motor moved. The way you open this thing is that there's these tabs here and they go over these protrusions and then there's this tab that goes over this uh, you have to carefully pry these off and and it'll pop up and uh, in the process of trying to fix this I reverse engineered it um, I made a schematic. I can't vouch that the schematic is 100% accurate, and but I'll explain it uh, somewhat. Uh, marked here is H1. H1 is the power that comes in, and H1 is this connector here. And then H2 is this connector here. Uh, I do not pretend to understand how the, this, this works. I've been told that as you turn this thermos or this potential potentiometer on, it uh, supplies voltage to this diac. And I have marked as unknown because I don't know what 
part number would be. There's nothing on it but a yellow stripe. Once this, the voltage gets to 30 volts, it turns on this triac, and then that sends voltage starting at 30 volts to through the motor. So, I'll just uh, zoom out again. I'm going to plug this into power. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. And then show you how this works. And this low, the lowest speed here is controlled by that potentiometer. You can actually make this just barely move. But I don't need it to be that slow initially. And that's it. Um, let me put it back together. Oh, and I added this uh, little heat sink and a glob of glue to keep it from somehow getting pushed into the board and shorting out because the, the back of the component is live. Alright, let's put it back in, make sure it still works. And there you have it, a s electronic sewing machine pedal. Thanks for watching.